Benedicta in Tasebot's Kitchen. Today we're going to be uh, showing you how we do our Yaji chicken or we say uh, chicken suya. Suya is a popular delicacy here in Nigeria. A lot of people love suya. Be it ram suya, chicken suya, uh, suya made from turkey, guinea fowl, ram, whatever it is. We love meat roasted on the pit here in Nigeria. I don't know if you've visited Nigeria before, you can relate with me on this subject. So today I'm going to teach you how to make suya from your home. Okay? And in making today's suya recipe, I'm going to be using a whole live chicken, a bit peeled or rather slaughtered. Sorry, that was rather mean. The chicken was slaughtered today and we soaked it in hot water and this is our chicken okay so the chicken I'm using today is known as an old layer it's not the regular uh, soft chicken Over, overseas like in the UK or in the States they call it hen okay it's a bit tough but trust me it's more delicious than the regular uh, soft chicken so now in making this uh, chicken suya I'm going to marinate uh, I'm going to make a marinade uh, using our yaji pepper now this yaji pepper is a complex mixture why do I say it's complex it is because there isn't a standard recipe in making this yaji spice for your suya. But what is, uh, what is common in all yaji mixes or in all yaji recipe, you must add finely ground roasted peanuts. If you do not have fine, uh, fine groundly roasted peanuts in your yaji mix, then that isn't yaji. You have to find another name for it. If it is yaji, it must have ground, finely roasted peanuts in the mix, ground dried garlic, ground dried onions, salt, uh, seasoning, and maybe cayenne pepper or red chili pepper. So that is basically what this yaji mix is all about. It's a combination of finely ground uh, groundnut, ground dried ginger, ground dried garlic, and all of that in this mix. So I'm gonna drizzle some of this onto our chicken, okay? And I'm going to add all of this ingredient that you can see before me. So I've explained the yaji spice to you. This is our chopped uh, fresh garlic, our chopped fresh ginger. This is what the garlic looked like before it was chopped and this is what our ginger looked like before it was chopped. Now, remember, this is optional and this is optional because we already have our ground ginger and garlic in the yaji mix. But if you do want to have a kind of fresh, you know, fresh ginger and garlic taste to your, to your meal, you might want to add a touch of the freshly chopped ones as well as the yaji powder. So I'm going to add the yaji. I'm going to add the yaji to my chicken now. Okay. I'm going to add this. I'm going to be very generous because this is the main uh, ingredient in this dish, the yaji, the yaji powder. So I'm going to do a bit of rubbing all around. Rubbing all around. Like I'm giving it a body massage. Okay. <laughs> So I'm basically giving this chicken a body massage with our yaji powder and the yaji is quite spicy so if you are allergic to, uh, to hot spice you might want to wear gloves while you, you're doing this okay but if you're not you can do it without this but this is quite spicy and I'm not so good with raw spice on my fingers now I can add a bit of salt because I know the yaji powder is not that salty. I've tasted it before. Remember what, what, what I told you about the yaji? It's your own mix of salt, seasoning, pepper, uh, onion, powder and all of that. So sometimes you have your yaji extremely salty, sometimes you have your yaji not so 
salty. This yaji in particular is not very salty, so I'm gonna be adding a bit more salt, a bit more seasoning cubes, two cubes, okay? Now this is so dry, it doesn't look like a marinade, but wait until I add like a granola or then it's all gonna start making sense to you all. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the canola or the reason why everything is, is dry, like 80% of the ingredients we're using is all dry, is because we want every bit of the ingredients to sit in the chicken. You know, we don't want it runny, because if you have it runny, some of the ingredient might escape from the chicken. So we don't want that to happen. Can you see it's not looking more like a marinade? I'm sure some of you are wondering why we have all these marks on the chicken. I, I call them tribal marks. <laughs> don't mind me, my invention. I call them tribal marks. I practically use my knife to put all this uh, uh, stripes on the chicken. This enables the spices to go right in to the meat. Now this is my chopped onions, optional, because our yaji already has ground onion powder. So you might want to skip this part of the marinade. This is fresh ground uh, scotch bonnet pepper, but it's not finely ground. It's more like mashed, okay? I like to put this just to add that fresh taste to my yaji mix, okay? So remember when I'm done with all of this, I'm going to allow the marinade to sit in our chicken for about, uh, about three hours. And you can also marinate your chicken like this overnight. The longer hours you, uh, the longer hours you spend marinating, the more delicious. Trust me, the more delicious your meal is going to taste. From experience, I've tried marinating, uh, ma marinating like 24 hours before grilling, and it tasted extremely delicious. But this is for dinner, right? And it's it's already four o'clock. I don't think I have much time to marinate this. So at about six, I'm gonna bring it out from the fridge and onto the pit. So this is it. Can you see all of this? This is gonna make for a very, 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 very delicious marinade. Okay, so you can choose to add more of the ground chili pepper, uh, more of the chopped scotch bonnet pepper, or more of the yaji mix. So I'm gonna taste this now for salt and seasoning. Mm -hmm. This is super delicious. Don't take my word for it. You can try this at home or you can order from our kitchen. We deliver meals to clients all across Lagos, so feel free to order from us if you're too lazy and you do not want to go through the stress of preparing this. <laughs> I'm silly, don't mind me. So I think this is about it. I'm now going to wrap this up in a clean film and put this in my refrigerator so here is my properly marinated chicken. I, I did marinate it for about two and a half hours. So I'm getting ready now to grill it. And like I told you, I'm grilling mine over the pit. You can choose to grill yours in an electric oven if you, if you don't have a, a barbecue, a barbecue grill like this. You can grill it over in your electric oven and you're still gonna get a very nice lay grilled chicken. So this is mine. Okay. And I'm going to just cover it up. And I'm going to latch it in here. Okay, it's all locked up. Now I'm going to do this. 
So we're going to be grilling it forward and backward, forward and backward. And we're going to be basting it with more marinade from time to time until our chicken is ready. So here is my chicken suya, very easy to prepare. Tough job if you're not strong. <laughs> I don't think you can do this. The chicken weighs about three kilos. It's a very big chicken. It's a very big bird. So, it's gonna take a while to grill, and I have to be patient. I'm just gonna put a little more of this. I want to baste it with as much marinade as I can. I want this to be extra, extra yummy. I'm basting it with a lot of marinade. I love the marinade and I love spice. So this is going to be really yummy. You can see the coal is not so hot. I like it to grill slowly. That way it's properly engulfed in the whole gonna come out super young, tasty, tender, soft, and very juicy. You don't want it so dry, so you want your coal to be this low. Can you see? So it's just gonna cook slowly until it's ready. Let me flip this over so you can see the outside. Okay. Okay. This is what it looks like. So we're almost there. Flip it over again. Ah, it's a big chicken. It's a very big bird. So it's about three kilos, right? Remember, I told you it's about three kilos. And this will be very nice with green salad. Yes. It will be very nice with green salad. And you can also have it with some tomatoes and uh, lettuce. So, once it's all ready, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all ready. Here is our chicken. It's all ready to be chopped and eaten. Our chicken is all set. Here is our real chicken. It's all ready to be chopped. And then we're going to be drizzling some of this yaji suya spice all over it. Remember when I started this video, I introduced you to the yaji suya pepper made from dried ground peanuts or ground nuts uh, with dried ground garlic, onion, salt and seasoning. This is what really makes it the suya, okay? Without this yaji, you have no chicken suya. So I'm going to drizzle this all over the chicken once I'm done chopping. I love onions. I don't know about you. If you like onions, you might want to have might want to have a bit of uh, the onion in your own. So yeah, so I'm just going to do this. Not so much. Okay. Okay. So that should do. We're going to have some chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. I love tomatoes in my uh, So yeah. So I'm going to chop this off like this. them in big wedges. That's how I like my tomatoes in my suya. Okay. Tomatoes are very juicy by the way and it really comes up nice in our suya. So I'm going to have this. On the juice you can deseed the tomatoes like this okay if you don't want all that juice in your tomatoes you can deseed and then chop them up like this okay now I'm gonna chop the chicken So young. Can you see 
how tender this is. I'm a big fan of chicken neck. I don't know about you guys, but I love my chicken neck. The meat around the neck is very tender and very juicy. Okay. So, you can choose to chop this into tiny chunks, like so. This is for our yajis here. regular chicken you have but trust me it is so 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 much tastier okay so much tastier than the regular sauteen you have now depending on how many people eat in this chicken here you can choose to uh, split half of the chicken here for tonight's dinner and you can leave this other half portion wrapped in the foil for tomorrow dinner uh, tomorrow's dinner right so you don't necessarily have to finish eating your whole chicken in one day okay so I'm just gonna throw this lettuce in the whole mix okay there you go our chicken Chicken is ready. I'm just going to sprinkle some here. Yeah, just here, here. So, voila. This is ready. So, our chicken here is ready. So, guys, you can see it's very simple. Or rather, it was very simple making our chicken here. So, if you want to make your chicken here at home, this is how you prepare. And you can have as much green leaves as you want to have in it. Dinner is ready. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It stays with us without the energy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.